Hi, we're here at the Honduras Amphibian Rescue and Conservation Center, wrapping up our uh, two-week trip here in December 2016. And we've gotten a lot done in this trip. It's really exciting. It's one of our most productive trips to date. We are finally beginning to construct our insect breeding facility just next door to here, because if we're going to have a lot of frogs, we need a lot of frog food. Yeah, without it, we can't have anything. <laughs> So um, one of the first things we did this week is we have a contractor here building a wall that's partitioning the building in half. So half the building is ours and that'll help us keep it climate controlled and more biosecure. Yeah, that's where we're going to raise all of the insects needed to keep all these animals alive. Um, we also are installing double doors. It's happening today. So we have a big access to the building. So if we need to move water tanks in um, or out or just big items, we can do that now. Yeah, especially the water tanks and other things. And so we need a larger door than normal. Um, we also had electricity hooked up for the first time after a couple of years of uh, getting things ready here. We finally have all of our electricity hooked up. So we have lights at night and we can work later and that's a good thing. Oh, it definitely. Uh, and so the water tanks, yeah, that's a biggie that we really needed. We needed something that was going to hold the volume of water um, that is uh, going to work for us here. Um, and we're going to be using reverse osmosis water, also filtered by UV sterilization. So we're also planning all of that inside that building too, in our half of the room. And <clears throat> that's also important for wastewater. So we have big 300 gallon wastewater barrels that will also be collecting water that leaves the facility so that we can bleach it and kill any pathogens that might be coming out of the frogs to make sure we protect the environment around here as well. We also had the AC service too, so it, everything was clean, the filters are good, so we have another six months of cold, cold air. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's nice and cold in here right now, it's about 65, 67 degrees. You don't want to go out there, it's probably 100. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're standing inside a giant frog refrigerator right now. Uh, the Hark House is almost done too. By our next trip, hopefully yep, in for, spring of 17, for staff, yeah. it'll be done to be lived in. Yeah, that's that's huge for it's, us. It's what 80, 85 steps away from here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, so, we we counted. No, no excuse <laughs> being late to work. It's no traffic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, There's no traffic. You live at work. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, things are going great. And uh, like I said, we're finishing up tomorrow, and we're planning our next trip in spring 2017, and that's going to be a big one for us. Uh, where we try to finish most of the big construction projects we have left. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll be ready for our grand opening in summer 2017. Yeah, yeah. So thanks again for your support and uh, stay tuned for more updates. Bye. Bye-bye.